It's a city that attracts virtually every Nigerian, and there's a reason for it. If there was one place in Nigeria where the chances of finding work are high, it is here in Lagos. Hundreds pour into the city almost on a daily basis in search of work, and whether or not they quickly find one, they never leave. The situation has left the city struggling to cope with the massive influx. Facilities are overstretched and hardly enough. Among the biggest challenges confronting the city is adequate housing. With a housing deficit of 2.55 million, authorities here say 180,500 new houses would need to be built annually over the next five years to reduce the deficit. And that responsibility rest on the shoulders of this young man, Lagos State Commissioner for Housing. We have deployed a lot of uh, policy, a lot of uh, strategy to see how we can reduce the existing gap. It will be very difficult for only government to, to supply the existing gap. We will need the private sector support. Private building initiatives are springing up almost everywhere in the city, but the houses are way out of the reach of many. There are so many houses, but how many people can afford to rent those houses? So we are not talking about affordable housing, which is what should now be focused on. The focus of the government should be on affordable houses, so that as many people as possible can afford to either rent the, those houses or purchase those houses. It's an idea the city's authorities are now imbibing. Through a rent-to-own scheme, they are constructing several buildings across the city to help tackle the problem. But the numbers are still way too low to bridge the deficit. We have developed three uh, templates uh, for private investors to come in. Uh, over 40, as a, as a 46 uh, private investors have applied and uh, they have been screened, uh, out of which 10 have been recommended for the next stage. The deal with the private sector will see the government provide land and development plan for the private companies to execute. It will also see the government fund part of the project to ensure the buildings are eventually affordable. But the biggest challenge for authorities here is that the population keeps growing almost on a daily basis. And as that growth happens, the housing deficit keeps going up. Deja Badmore, CCTV, Lagos.